Hello everybody and welcome to DirectX 11 tutorial 37. In this tutorial we are going to go over some potential memory leaks. So before we had created these, um, for example we had this constant buffer uh, template and then we have this uh, index buffer class and then we have this vertex buffer template. Now the thing about these is for their buffers we are using a COM pointer, and the great thing about the COM pointer is whenever the destructor is called on this object, the COM pointer will automatically clean up the buffer. However, we are initializing these objects by calling initialize, and when we call initialize, we are not making sure to clean up the previously allocated data. So just to demonstrate this, let's go into our graphics CPP. And down here, in where we are initializing the scene, let's see, we have our textured square object. And you know we're creating the vertices, and then we are initializing that vertex buffer, and then we're creating the indices and initializing that. So just to demonstrate, I'm going to copy this. I'm going to copy where we're initializing the vertices and the indices and go up to our render frame because we know our render frame is getting called over and over and hopefully this doesn't blow up my computer but let's see so first we are going to just look at the vertices or I said vertices first we're going to look at the indices so Pay attention to the memory on the right side. Let's start this up. All right, you see our memory is climbing up. It just keeps going up and up and up, and that's because we have a memory leak. So I'll exit out of that. Now, first let's fix it for the indices buffer. So we're going to go into initialize, and what we can do is, before we call create buffer down here, we know that we're allocating memory and we're putting it into this buffer object that we have. So we can check if the buffer object is null. What we would do is we would say if buffer.get is null. So really we only want to uh, clear, we only want to reset the com pointer and free out this memory if it's not null. Because if it's null, that means it hasn't been initialized, so we don't really care about that. So we'll check if it's not null, and if it's not null, then we will just reset it. And what resetting does is it releases the memory, and then it sets the buffer's pointer to be null pointer again. So if we test this now, we shouldn't get any jump in our uh, memory. All right, you see now our memory, uh, it's plateaued, and it's pretty much sitting at 37 and a half megabytes. So now let's go back to our graphics CPP and just verify the, I'm going to take out where we are reloading the index data because we know that this is fixed. Let's take a look at the vertex data and we will test this out and you'll see our memory is going straight up on the right side. So let's go ahead and fix that memory leak. We will go into initialize. We are going to say uh, two things, actually. For stride, we know that when we have a, uh, a template for our vertex buffer, that the stride will never change once it's first initialized. So for stride, we are only going to um, re- we're only going to do this make unique if the stride if it's the first time. So if stride is null. So if the stride is null, if it hasn't been initialized once already, then we are going to call make unique and initialize that. And then if our buffer is not null, then we need to reset it. So let's test this out and make sure that's fixed. All right, and there's no more memory leak there. Now the last one I believe is for the constant buffer. Now I don't know why you would be um, reinitializing these like this. 
I had ran into this issue when I was reinitializing the frustum every frame in that example that demonstrated the view and projection matrix, just because I was whipping it together real quick and saw that there was a memory leak. But um, normally you you wouldn't just be reinitializing the buffers like this. But it's better to have it designed to where it's not going to have a memory leak rather than to just leave it in. So we're going to check in the constant buffer. If it is not null, then we will reset it. And we're not even going to test the constant buffer one as far as seeing if there was a leak because there obviously would be. We're calling create buffer and we weren't resetting it. All right, and everything still works, so we are good to go. All right, so that is all that I'm going to cover in this tutorial. In the next tutorial, we are probably going to get into blending.